here we go. We got the Arcus. Going on an A103T. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Out of sight. Heard the pop. There's the streamer. Arcus coming down. Pretty close to a streamer doing its job. So that's a good thing. Yeah, it's just riding that breeze. Streamers are good. Helicopter rocketry, as you saw before, they can get lost on you. They hang around. Yeah, streamers doing its thing. Nice. Nice flight of the Arcus. Like I said, guys, this is a one flight only. I got to be somewhere. So just wanted to bring you the maiden flight of the Arcus. You can get those at Estes. Use my discount code, IN underscore 321. Go to Estes, fill your cart, put that code in there, and get yourself an Arcus rocket. I got to get out of here. Stay tuned for the debriefing. I will bring you that with some of the latest scoop here from Model Rocks 321. Let's go on and recover the Arcus. So here we go, coming up on the Arcus. Oh, it looked like it kicked out the motor. I had it in friction fit. Yeah, but the motor got kicked out. Ah, look at that, and the nose cone having to stick in the ground nose first. <laughs> Yeah, interesting, but yeah, that was a nice flight. Arcus is a good, good flyer. Nice, stable model. I mean, I could tell it was like pretty much a perfectly, sh perfect straight flight. So just keep your eye on these. They can get out of, get out of sight on you pretty quick. But yeah, that was pretty nice. Good flight of the Arcus. It kicked that motor out somewhere. It's somewhere out here. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for the debriefing, and we will be back with more. This is my Rock Three Two One. See you on another video. And at the end of this video, be sure to watch. The video I placed of the Arcus. We're out. And welcome to the debrief. You just witnessed one flight today, one quick flight of the Arcus. One and done. Flew it up on the A103T, went really high out of sight. Then I heard the pop and I started to see the streamer. So that is the biggest motor risk one you can fly, I believe, to give it the maximum performance. But you can fly it on some smaller motors, 13 millimeters, just the smaller ones. And um, it'll keep it a little bit lower if you don't have that big of a feel. Actually, don't even matter. If you have a big feel and it's a, not a breezy day, you will recover this rocket if you position yourself in the right part of the field. Um, so this one flew great. It, I did lose the motor, though. I did kick it out. I had friction fit going on. That's when you put the motor in. You put tape around the motor and you get it in there really snug. And it shouldn't eject. <clears throat> excuse me. It shouldn't eject out, but... I lost mine. I had it in there pretty tight, but it still kicked out and um, recovered. And it recovered, and it, it actually stuck the nose, the nose cone stuck in the um, soil. But very cool rocket, um, vintage, very old school sounding rocket, research rocket by Atlantic Research Corporation. You can see here in Rockets of the World, you can see, um, I think I showed this before recently. It launched from a breach. It was a breach launch research rocket. You can see right there. These two guys are going to load one in the in the breach right there. So I'm um, yeah, flown in the 1960s. Yep, carried different um different meteorological networks. So this is like a meteorological type rocket for research. The Army, Navy, and NASA also made use of the Arcus. Yep, the successful the success of the system spawned a menagerie of high performing delivery deliveries derivatives. The lengthened Super Arcus and a two-stage boosted Arcus, boosted Sidewinder Arcus and the Sparrow Arcus. There are different variations of this rocket um, that they would fly it in. You can get these, get boosters on the lower side of it. Send it away up there, then it'll fire this one off. So, yeah, the rocket has a nice, nice history to it. You see, here's a Sparrow Arcus right here. And on this page, there's the Iris. That's its cousin, I believe. There's a Sparrow Arcus, a Sparrow booster on the bottom, and the Arcus up top. So yeah, yeah. And there's some flights of it right there. You can see it coming out of the breach. Loading the breach. Yeah. So these very old school research rockets. These are different um, color paint schemes for it. Here is the one I have. But one thing I didn't include was this bear. On the nose of this one, it should have been a bear right there on the nose cone. But they didn't include that. They didn't include it. It would have been nice. But they didn't, so that's fine. Here it has some paneling with some of the specs these are versions. i guess they're unpainted like i can see this is like aluminum yeah aluminum paint and then this is bare aluminum then the nose will be brown on this version black nose on that same body then this one is a white version of it all white with a brown nose cone 
and that one actually has the same logo that the um, the uh, Atlanta Resource Corporation logo that the Iris sports. I do have an Iris I want to get built. This is, I like the Iris a lot. That's my actually my level one certification rocket, four inch Iris. There's the Iris right there. There's one flying. The Iris actually had a booster, but yeah, this is rocket to the world. I mean, it got all this stuff in there. So if you're trying to build something scale, you can got all the stuff there, everything you need, all the paint schemes and colors, everything you need. But it's rocket to the world. And anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Spot Rocks three two one. Drop a comment. And we will be back with more. This is the maiden flay of the Arcus. All's well. Boat tail's good. Recovered. Streamer recovery. For your park flying fun, you can get one of those in Estes. You can use my discount code. And we will catch you on another video. Smile Rocks 321. Subscribe.